first USPSA match Sunday. Sitting here getting all my gear ready, making sure everything's checked. So when I get there, I got everything I need. And I thought, might as well make a video, show you guys what all I need to do USPSA match. Start out with my PCC that I use. This is my Ruger PC carbine. Got a hollow sun 510C on it. Tandem cross upriser chassis. And this has been con converted for left hand use. This has a jawbone, left handed mag release on it. The safety has been converted to left hand. So if I have to start on a stage with the safety on, I can hit that and I'm ready to go. This is obviously 9mm. Got the MBX comp on it. Tandem cross charging handle. Strike Industries. Butt stock. Buffer tube. And this was all custom Cerakoted by Central Ohio Cerakote. During a USPSA match, you got to have an ECI in it. So I keep one with a thing that says remove before pew pew because I stick these down in my back pocket and I like to be able to grab it and stick it right back in the gun at the end of the stage when the range officer has me clear the gun. My hand stop on this is a Viridian. It does have a laser. Never use it in a match, but it's there if I need it. And that's my rifle. Let's get into my magazines. These are factory Glock mags. Keep 30 rounds in these. And I've got three of these loaded up, ready to go. These are what I use on the shorter round count stages, classifier stages. If I have to drop these on the ground, do a quick reload or something, I don't care if these get tore up. This is my MBX Mini. I don't know why they call it a Mini, because this holds 47 rounds. This is what I use on the high round count stages. Because I don't like to reload, I'm lazy. That's why I got this. So That's what the MBX Mini looks like. Those are the four mags I use in competition. Now I'll get into my belt. This is a Blade Tech. And this has the Coda Evolution mag carriers on it. Keep two of these on me at all times. These are made for the 30 round mags. Those lock right in. Real easy to take out. Carry two of these on me. And when I'm walking up to start the stage, I just keep this in my pocket. Pull it out, load it. If something happens, I have a malfunction with one of, with this mag. I can throw it out real fast. And I got these two backing me up. This MBX runs real reliable. Haven't really had any issues with it. But you don't want to go out there with just one mag. So that's my belt. Blade Tech belt. With the Code Evolution mag carriers. Works great. You can also wear this with an inner belt. Got my Zev Technologies hat. This thing has been through so many matches. You can tell it is all faded from the sun. This has my GoPro 8 mount on it. This is what I wear on my hat for the point of view videos while I'm running through the stages. Camera case. This has all my GoPros in it. It doesn't have my 9 in it right now. My 9's on my computer because I use it for live streaming, but got all my extra batteries. My mods, my GoPro 8, extra hat clip if that one breaks, and I'm not going to get that out. It's like my monopod, 9mm oh, shell. Put that in the reloads. My camera case. Alright, I carry an ammo can on me. Set this down. Um, keep my ETS speed loader in here. You guys have seen me use this on the channel. Keep all my reloads in one of these cases. The reason I do that is because of that right there. Don't like to take a lot of time reloading when I'm after a stage getting ready for the next one. So I keep all my rounds in this. Slide my can my loader on there. 
And that's how I load my ammo. Works great with Glock mags. Keep about 300 rounds with me. Most front, most stages, or most matches, 140, 150 rounds tops. But sometimes an RO may screw up. Uh, they don't get your times. Your score gets messed up. You might have to reshoot the stage. So it's always a good idea to keep a couple hundred extra rounds with you. Because you never know what's going to happen. Oh, yeah. I got my fancy channel stickers today, too. So my ear protection. I use the Walker Silencer R600s. These are awesome. They're inner ear buds. These will last about six to eight hours on a charge. The nice thing is this case charges them again. So if you're in a major match when you go to lunch, you can throw these back in the case. They'll charge them up while you're eating lunch. And then when you get back, you'll have full charge ready to go. These are great. I want to say these are around 120, 130 bucks. Sometimes you can catch them on sale at Midway. I think that's where I bought these from. I've had them for a couple years. I'm actually going to do a little review video on these eventually because they're great to have. This is a worthwhile investment. My safety glasses, my eye pro, whatever you want to call them. Uh, now these are pricey. These are Hunter's HD Gold. I got these all clean and polished and fog proofed and ready to go for tomorrow. These are a must have if you're a competition shooter. These are probably around 300, 350 bucks. Expensive, I know. Well worth the money. I've had these for a year and a half now. Could probably shot about 25 matches with these glasses. They still don't have one scratch on. Awesome, awesome company. And the guy, Brian, that owns it. Super guy. So check out Hunter's HD Gold. Alright, now my range bag is Voodoo Tactical. Had this bag for about five or six years. It's awesome. I've got lens clean cloths in here, multi tools, screwdriver set. Stuff, take a red dot on and off, replace it if it goes down with another one, whatever. Just your basic stuff in here. Keep a lot of towels in here, a lot of uh, lens clean cloths. Um, that's about it. Now, my PCC bag, uh, this is just an Allen tactical bag, had this for about three years, it's been a good bag. Um, we have to keep our rifles in a bag when we're not using them. So I like this because I just zip the back open, I keep it about Grab this here. Keep it about like this. I don't have my cart in here because it's got mud all over the wheels and everything. It's in the back of my truck. But all this stuff goes in a pull behind cart. But I keep my bag in my cart. And when I'm done shooting, I just walk up, slide that right into the bag. Keep the trigger group and everything covered with the bag. And then you're not going to get your ass handed to you by a range officer. Now, as far as gear that I wear, uh, still pretty cold in Ohio right now. I normally shoot in shorts. I don't like wearing pants, but it's too cold for shorts right now. So I just wear a pair of Under Armour windbreaker pants. Now these are have the belt loops, so because I have to wear a belt. These are probably actually, I don't know, these are called the Under Armour Storms. My guess is these are probably what golfers wear. They make great shooting pants. They're real lightweight. They're waterproof. So we do get rained on a lot. My new jersey for the 2022 season with my Monstrum sponsors on there and Jawbone. And then I got the Chris from the 740 logo on there. And I'm not sponsored by Hunter's HD Gold. But I had to have an extra slot here, and Hunter's HD Gold sponsors the company that makes these jerseys. Go fast, don't suck. So, 
That's my jersey for the year. Last but not least, shoes. Shoes are a huge deal in USPSA. These are a little pricey too. Now these are the Salomon Speed Crosses. And they're quick fit. They got the wire things on them. But if you look at the bottom of these, they are super aggressive cleats. Um, we shoot in a lot of gravel, a lot of dirt, and a lot of mud. And these are one of the best pair of shoes you can buy. Shoot USPSA. These are probably $100, $120 pair of shoes. Well worth the money. Super comfortable too. Um, they do have the ortholite pads and stuff on the inside. But um, these things just dig in, give you traction. And you got to move around a lot in USPSA. You got to make a lot of quick movements, quick turns. I'm a big fat guy. I don't move that fast, but these are great to have. Definitely a must have when it comes to shoes. That's pretty much it. The ammo, obviously 9mm. I'm using 124 grain Summit City bullets. They're all reloads. And this is what I have to get ready for a USPSA match. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.